Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix audio recording delay in FL Studio 20. Now, you've probably tried to record some vocals or maybe you've tried recording other stuff and it's just not in time, but you're saying it in time and you know you're saying it in time. I had this, this happen to me the other day. I was recording a song and I was saying it in time, but every time I would listen back, it was just way, out of time it was out of sync so this video will show you how to get in sync and how to prevent that from happening so that you know exactly what's causing your recording to go out of sync and you know how to fix it so stay through all the way to the end there's a lot of great information that's going to help you out now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving eyes so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel you will love it here now let's get right into it shall we so Let's open up FL. <laughs> um, basically, there's a few ways I can do this to show you uh, some vocals being out of sync. First of all, I can just record something in, but I don't think that's necessary. I think you know what it sounds like when something's out of sync, right? You probably dealt with that yourself. You, you know what, it, what happens there. Now, there are two main reasons that I've found which will push your vocals out of sync. And before we get into those two reasons, I do have a question of the day for you. My question of the day is, what kind of recording are you doing? Are you recording yourself? Are you recording vocals? Are you recording guitar? Are you recording another artist? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get back to it. So two main things. First main thing, is having too many plugins on. If you've got too many plugins on, your CPU will be out of here. And when your CPU is out of here, yeah, you're gonna end up having your recording being out of sync. And I experienced this the other day. I think it was like last week when I was recording the final version of my song, Trust, and the vocals just kept on being out of sync. And every time I would record it, I needed to go in to my project and physically, you know, move my vocals over about two fourths or something like that in order to get in sync. So I did get in sync in, in, the, in the end, but I recorded basically the song out of sync. And the reason why it was out of sync is because I had Ozone 8 on my master track and I totally forgot. So make sure you don't have Ozone 8 open on your master track. Make sure you don't have anything that's really CPU intensive open while you're recording. You should probably just turn off all inserts while you're recording, like all really high CPU level inserts, just turn them off and then you record and you record your vocals at its lowest latency and it will be as as good as possible and as in sync as possible basically the next big reason why your vocals will be out of sync is because you haven't gone to audio settings and set up some correct settings now i do have a complete video on how to record your vocals in fl studio definitely check that out because i do go over stuff like this and i'll show you how to set up your recording but you need your buffer length, your buffer length to be at least 256. And the only reason why I'm going with 256 right here is because I'm using the FL Studio ACO driver. Now, when I am recording, honestly, I prefer to use my audio box ACO driver. It's the it's the one that came, you know, it's the driver for my interface. The reason why I'm using the FL Studio one is because if I don't use this, I can't record into FL Studio and into Camtasia, which is what I use to record my videos at the same time. So that's the only reason why I'm doing that. But when I'm recording my own vocals and whatnot, I like to go to the audio box. And the reason why I like to do that is because I can get even lower than 256. I can get to about 128 and that basically the latency on that is beautiful like i can actually listen back in my headphones and hear my audio while i'm recording like that at 256 when i'm recording if i listen to myself in my headphones i'll hear that latency and that latency will trip me up when i'm trying to record so i just can't do that but that one two eight 
Mwah. beautiful. 128 is pretty much where you want to be like that. That's, you don't need to be any lower than that. There is the ACO4 All V2. I highly suggest you don't use that. I did try to use this the other day because I was looking online for solutions to this problem, solutions to my audio being out of sync and whatnot. And they said, use the ACO4 All driver. And I used that and I brought it down to like 128. But with that driver, you, just, you get a lot of clicking, a lot of glitching, a lot of artifacts when you're trying to record using that. So I highly suggest against it. In the worst case scenario, just use FL Studio ACO and go to 256 and that will pretty much be all you really need to do and your vocals should be in time after that. Now, once you've done that, everything should be perfect. There are some other things you can do, like you can set up, you can basically, down here, you can actually sync specific channels to certain delays. So if you've got a latency of like 50 milliseconds, you can go to this channel and you can set a specific delay in this to like 50 milliseconds so that it's in time. But if you followed all the instructions that I've already given you, like you turn off plugins that are taking up too much CPU, pretty much turn off all plugins if it's really giving you a problem and you'll find out which plugin is, is giving you the most problems. But if you turn off everything, you'll be able to cleanly record. And if you make sure that your buffer length is low as possible, at least 256, then you you'll have no latency on your recordings. Your recordings will be perfectly in time and you'll be able to move forward happy days. So you won't need to mess with uh, syncing and, and all that sort of stuff in the mixing settings. I will go into that in a future video if it's necessary, if I find that I've needed to do that because I was messing around with that the other day and it is, it's a little bit complicated, but I kind of figured it out but I'll get into that if it's necessary. I don't wanna just be putting that info out there if it's just gonna confuse you and not really gonna help you. So that's basically all you need to know in order to fix audio recording delay and to make sure that your recordings are not out of sync. So hope this video helped you out. And because you've got to this point in the video, I do have a free gift for you. That gift is five of my best R&B trap beats for absolutely free. This is perfect for singers, rapping singers, and anyone who wants to make money from their music, to be honest, because with these beats, you can actually monetize your music. You can upload it to Spotify, upload it to you know streaming platforms and whatnot, and actually make money from your music. The link is in the description. You can go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats to grab that as well. And yeah, just follow the instructions on the page and grab those free beats. If you have any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. And in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, online marketing. Peace out.